few months. Open your mouth. You didn't get there by your energy. Give him thanks. Give him glory. There are many that plan to be there. But they didn't arrive here. Give him praise. Give him glory. Exalt him. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you did for us in the month of August. Thank you for ushering us to this glorious month. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name, we have given him thanks. Covenant keeping, Father, thank you for bringing us into a new month. Thank you for that which you have done for us in the month of August. We celebrate your faithfulness. Your name be praised forevermore. In Jesus' precious name. Please, you may be seated. This service is three in one. It is a prophetic service where by the grace of God I'll be speaking into your life. Also, it is our day of prayer and fasting. Whatever have defiled your simple prayer will not escape this night. Can I hear your louder amen? Things happen in one day. The man at the pool of Bethsaida has been there for many years. The woman with the issue of blood has carried that affliction for many years. But one day, tonight shall be a day you will remember. Amen. God will cause something to happen to you. Amen. Days of encounter are days you can never forget. Amen. May the Lord give you an encounter tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is also our day of Passover. It's a, it's a prophetic service. It is our day of renew our strength. And at the same time, it is a day of subscription for the protective hand of God. Praise the Lord. As I said, praise the Lord. I welcome every one of you online. It is a unique service. I was teaching my children one thing today on the law of cause and effect. That is where we had our morning devotion in my house today. It is possible to walk through life without hurt. It is possible to walk through life without a major hurt. It is very possible. God always have a hiding place for his children. God always have a hiding place for his children. And our generation is not exceptional. Paul said, I bear in my body the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let no man trouble me. In other words, don't attempt it. Otherwise, the repercussion will be grievous for you. God had a hiding place for his children. He has what? A hiding place for all his children. This hiding place he hid in his word. His hiding place are embedded and is hid in his word. Pass over, as I'll be addressing them one by one. Pass over is God's strategy to hide his children from the hand of the evil one. God have not uh, pretend not to know there are evil one.
But he has always make a room, make a provision that we hide his children. Somebody once asked me, what is your confidence in evil time? I said, the hiding power of God. The hiding power of God. God always have where he hid his own. He hide his own. He always. At no time has he left his children defenseless. At no time has he left his own children defenseless. God always have a defense for his, pe his people. It's not just starting with our generation. David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. In Psalm 27, I think verse 5. Psalm 27 and verse 5. David made it very clear. Psalm 27 and verse number 5. He said, for in the time of trouble, for in the time of trouble, so there is a time called trouble time. For in the time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, there are things that are done in tabernacle of God that are not available anywhere. Such as the one you have come to. The secret, not the secret of uh, city mall. Not the secret with the government. The secret of his tabernacle. The thing is tabernacle make no sense to other people. Unto you it is given to understand the mystery of the kingdom, but to them that are without... Everything is in parable. The secret of his tabernacle. So the tabernacle of God has a secret. And that's where God hides his own people. If there is any generation I've resolved to pray for, is this generation that look down on the things that has kept their parent. They look down on the thing that has kept their parent. They look, they look down on the things of God. David, if there is any man that had trouble in his life, David was one. So let me tell you, as for this God, in time of trouble, he shall hide me. I know him to that point. In his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle, Shall he heed me? He will hide me in it. He shall set me up upon a rock so that my foundation does not crash. Amen. 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 That's what God says. So God always have a provision of protection for his people. A provision of protection for his people. Psalm 91. Psalm 91. And verse number one. He said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. You see that? We are talking of secret again. He that dwelleth in the secret of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <laughs> shall abide under the shadow. When you are under a shadow, you don't feel the scourge of the sun. Amen. When you are under a shadow, you don't feel what? The scourge of the sun. So, God has a secret. The secret is meant to be inhabited by his children. And in that secret, he hides you there. You become invisible. Praise the Lord. And he said, let me tell you what you'll be doing when you are in the secret of God. He said, he that dwelleth in the secret of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And there he will be able to talk something different. He that dwelleth there, verse 2, he said, and I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, 
my fortress. The wind of life will blow here and there. I remain unmovable, untouchable. And I will say of the law is my refuge. How did it become your refuge? You assess his secret in the tabernacle and you abide there. And my fortress, my God in him, will I trust. Praise God. So for coming for tonight Passover, you have come to hide yourself in the secret of God. You shall be untouchable. The month of December are all the bars. They are here. They will not claim your life. December, October, November, and December. They will not pack you along. They will not send you to an early grave. You are welcoming to those glorious months. You will have a living testimony. Of God's victory over anything that is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. But it is our responsibility to keep ourselves in his law, in his instruction. First John chapter 5 and verse 18. First John chapter 5 and verse 18. Some people will tell you, what is the Passover? It was meant to be once. But that's not what the Bible says. It says you shall keep these ordinances throughout all your generation. Throughout all your generation. Amen? The Passover from Exodus has been kept. Even when Jesus was here, they were keeping it. The apostles, they came, they continue. I don't know the revelation you have not to keep the Passover. And he says, stand ye by the way and ask of the old part wherein is the old way and walk ye therein and you shall find rest for your soul. Praise God. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will preserve you. Verse 18 says, we know that what or whosoever is born of God sinneth not. And I told you the definition of sin is not limited to fornication, it's not limited to adultery, it's not limited to the definition of sin is very clear. In James chapter 4, I think verse 22. Is it verse 17, James? Verse 17. Confirm first before I move. And we want to look at the definition of sin there. You know, it said the soul that sinners shall die. 417. Now, it said, therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and do it not, to him it is a sin. To obey God is better than sacrifice. If you say there is what is called Passover and you don't believe in it, it becomes a sin. And he said, the soul that sinned shall what? Shall die. If you know what to do and you don't do it to you, it is a sin. That's what the Bible says. Give us a message Bible. Let me see what it says. In fact, if you know the right thing to do and don't do it, and don't do it, that for you is evil. That for you is evil. It brings evil things. And you know you become a victim of sin before evil perpetrates. Praise God. Until Adam and Eve wrong God, there was no evil in the land. No evil will come near you. you say, we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth no, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And the wicked one touches him not. Keep it himself because God will always make a provision. You keep yourself by doing what God says. He that keepeth himself. How do you keep yourself? By abiding with what God says. The evil one will not touch you. Accident shall be far away from you. You will not spend money in police station. Arm robber will not break into your houses. Wherever you are, the Passover mark shall exempt you from every evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So I decree this Passover. Exempt you from all form of evil. 
The meal you are partaking tonight is a supernatural meal. It will help you to go through the rivers, the Red Sea of this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 1. He said, moreover, brethren, I will not, this is New Testament, I will not that you should be ignorant how that all our father were under the cloud and all passed through the Red Sea. The sea couldn't consume them. But they were under the cloud. Now in verse 2, he began to explain the cloud that they were under. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, no matter the challenge, they stick to what Moses told them. They immersed themselves in the teachings of Moses and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did eat the same spiritual meat and the drink and did all drank or drink the same spiritual drink. And then he explained, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And the rock was Christ. But the rock was Christ. But today you talk about Passover. Some people have revelation why it is no longer relevant. It's not correct. Because I'm, I'm a man of God. I was there in a meeting. He said, where is the blood of Jesus they are talking about? <laughs> so I wanted to ask him, where is the heaven that they are talking about? Because I cannot also see it. Don't let anybody out of failure and or out of wanting to be somebody special confuse you. We have spiritual bloggers now. We have what? Spirit. They just speak a teaching of a man of God and they tear it down so that they can leverage with his network. You see, if somebody starts insulting me, you are likely to join without knowing. That's what blogger does. They don't blog a poor man. He's always a rich man. Raila have traveled by leg. You want to check why? Today we have preacher who, are, who I consider as bloggers. I know why I consider them as bloggers. It's because the people they are talking about is better than them. Have you noticed? The people they are criticizing his teaching is better than them. So what do they want to do? They want to leverage on his achievement, on his followers. Especially if they are YouTubers. You know, the more crowd, the more people who subscribe, the more YouTube pay, pay you. So they look for someone like Bishop Oedepo who have had mileage, who have made this mark. And then they say something wrong about him to command more followers. Many Christians are not aware. Praise God. I said, praise God. In most cases, I've discovered the person they are talking against is more than them. The man who is more than you doesn't need your advice. It is you who need his advice. Praise God. I said, praise God. And there are many there. And, and I always see confusion when I happen to listen to them. You see, they will criticize that what the man is doing is not God who told him. But before they finish their sermon, they will open their dirty mouth to say, God told them something. So if God tells you something, do you have prerogative right to determine whom God tells something? I was watching a young man. I, was in, I listened to his uh, message about four or five. And I didn't know his calling. I, listened, I spent my 120 minutes listening to his sermon. I didn't know his calling. I can't say this is what he stands for. Because all he did is to pick all the men in Kenya, women of God, and tear them down for what they did wrong. There is no one God has subscribed, I mean, God has exchanged his position to. He's still the judge of the universe. He has not, there is no one he calls in the Bible as a judge. Stop listening to those idiots. I call them idiots. Because one of the ways to stay happiness is to keep you away from an idiot. To keep you away, what? If you want to maintain your peace, stay away from an idiot. Praise God. There is, how do you say what the man of God is doing is wrong 
not a scandal that his revelation is wrong. Then you, you tell me later, God told you something. Do you, are you the custodians of God that is only you he speak to? If somebody say, I have revelation of firstborn, let him preach it. If you don't need it, leave it there. Praise God. I said, praise God. The last time I checked my Bible in Ephesians chapter 4, he gave some. Some. There is no one he gave all. Everyone were giving things. So please, stay off those things because they are preparing you for destruction. Stay off them. If he gave some, that means he didn't give us all power to listen to all preacher. There are people you never connect your destiny with. But because you are rebellious, many Christians are rebellious. They go to the net searching here and there. He said, I will give you a pastor after my heart. So not all pastors are after his heart. For you, they may be after his heart for other people, but not everyone. There is no one he gave all. There is no one he gave all. Passover is real. It avert evil. I've used it from experience many times and I've come out triumphantly. I therefore decree unto every one of you, you will not bury your children. Amen. You will not stand by a graveyard this month. Amen. The Lord will preserve all that concerns you. Amen. Because of you, your family member, life shall be elongated. Amen. The devil will not strike upon any of your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We can be kept by the power of God. We can be kept by the power of God. When Jesus was living in John chapter 17, he acknowledged they were evil, but he pleaded with the Father to keep them from evil. To keep them from evil. How will God keep you? By his instruction. By his instruction. That's how God will keep you. Are you there, John chapter 17? Verse 15, let's start from 14. 14 say, I have given them thy word. How many of you have received the word of Christ? Say, you are saved. All right. The moment you receive the doing of Christ, you become a target of the devil. When light comes, darkness shiver. He said, I have given them thy word. And what? And the world has hated them. You are the target of Satan. Not necessarily because of what you do, but because of what Christ did in your life that you have received. And the world has hated them. Because they are not of this world, even as I'm not of this world. Verse 15. I pray not. Are you hearing that? I pray not. This one will not answer to prayer he will answer to some secret. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world. If you are taken out of the world because there are evil, you are a failure. Because you need to overcome something before you sit with him. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. What did he say? He said, I should have, I, I, I say, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from him. And we are told, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 18, whatsoever is born of God is what? 1 John chapter, chapter 5, verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of God, sinneth not, but he that is begotten of the Father keepeth himself, and the wicked one touches him not. So you may ask me, how do you keep yourself? Simply obey God. If God said dance, dance. Amen. If he said take communion, take it. This argument will not help anyone. Praise God. I said, praise God. Many years ago, I think around 1992 or 1993, God spoke to me clear and loud. My, I went for evangelism and all the people I met, they would be engaging me in argument and also I want to show them I know the Bible. God said to me, no, my words are not for argumentation. They are for implementation. Preach what I say. I will confirm it. Whether they give their life to Christ, I will follow you and confirm it. Don't stay with, you know, we meet Jehovah's Witness. You want to show them out. No. The word of God is not for debate. The inner creation are not waiting for debate. 
They are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Now, look at what Psalm says, Psalm 81. So, as you are sprinkled, or you get home and sprinkle yourself, in fact, we may not sprinkle today, we may just make proclamation. The same weight that is in the blood of Jesus that time, is it the same weight of integrity that is behind the declaration? So, I say to you, you will not lose your children. You will not lose your children. You will not come in contact with strange disease. Amen. What he said about the blood is what he said about the pronouncement of his servant. What he said about the blood is the same integrity behind the office of a leader. Look at what he said. I think verse 10. Give me verse 10. He said, I am the Lord thy God that brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people will none hearken to my voice. And Israel will none of me. That word me, put the word there. Will none of my word. He said, but they will not listen. When they hearken, I become committed. My saving hand come upon them. Praise God. But they will none of me. Look at what next, verse 12. So I gave them up. God will not give you up. Amen. Can I hear your resounding amen? amen? God will not give you up to poverty. Amen. God will not give you to misfortune. Amen. 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 God will not give you up to accident. Amen. He will defend his, your obedience. Amen. To a Passover, he will defend it. He says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. None of this was shall want are made. So as I'm entering here, I enter intentional. You know, when I was entered, it's like I'm entering into bunker. You know, bunker. Underground tunnel. That's how I feel when I was entering here. Those of you, probably, as I say, Father, thank you. I enter my ark of covering. What he said to Noah that preserved him is what he said to you by the, by the blood. Everyone that listened to Noah, God protected them. Amen. But you know, just like the days of Noah, yeah, yeah. people are doubting what is that thing they sprinkle on you in charge. And you listen, I get angry. I wish I catch you one day listening to such people. I slap you because that person is planning for how Satan will roast you. He has been hired. He will not ask you, have you paid your rent? They don't ask of your need. They only look for a way of cutting off the flow of grace. He said to Noah, build an ark. Rain is coming. Everybody was saying, Noah, which rain? Which rain will fall that won't stop? And truly until that time, there was no rain that fall that didn't stop. But Noah believed God. Noah believed God and obeyed God. He did what he says. So God never gave up the life of Noah for the flood. The Bible says, and the word prevailed. Amen. The word prevailed. You think Noah's thing is about, uh, because some of you, you easily give up. You think Noah building the ark was for five weeks? 120 years. You see the strength of that man's faith. 120 years. He was building. And they were mocking him. He was building. And they were mocking him. <laughs> he was building. If you don't allow men to mock you, God will never make you. You need the mockery of men. You need the mockery of men. You need a mockery of men. When you are following God, men will mock you. But God will take advantage of their mockery and make you. The Lord will make you. You will escape all evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will escape all evil. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Return us back. Praise the Lord. Return up back to Psalm 81. 
So I gave them up. I gave them what? Up. Some years back, I like sharing this testimony. We were in Kano Tower. And uh, we are closing service. Jane might still remember. We we're closing service. And the Lord said to me, No, 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 no. After, after this service, call for evening service for a Passover. Call for a, a, a this God that you are following, that you want to make a routinary God, is the problem you have. Call for a Passover service in the evening. You know, sometimes when we call for service, you think it's convenient. The most difficult service for a pastor is evening service on Sunday. You know, the moment the pastor say, call for a service in the evening is the first target. Sleep will come in a long, heavy gauge on you. No, evening pastor is not good for a pastor. And that time we're living in Yali here, we still have to drive all the way from Canon Tower to come home before you eat, before you rest. It's almost time. But I had God. And we had one gentleman and his wife in the service. You know, God can hold the service because of you. The service in Luke chapter 4 was because of Jesus. It was him that found where it was written. God can hold a service for his soul. I think God wants to save his life. But after service, he told his wife, me, I'm not coming. I have some clients. Remember in Okunda, I have some, it was there of where tourism were booming. I have some clients. I need to take them to Lunga, Lunga or where. So he told his wife, go on our behalf. But you see, he doesn't ask his wife to eat for him. He doesn't ask his wife to unirate by for him that I'm very busy be unirating for me. That was the end of that man. Those clients kill him. Remember? They wrap him and tie stone, dump him in the sea, in the river. They kill him. That was the end of it. He was in a bro very wonderful brother in Okunda. He could not hear that danger. God has no way of communicating it to him. So he sent the servant. This equality followership will destroy this generation. This, we are all brethren. We are, and you have forgotten that Mary I'm also read Bible. When Moses spoke, you know what they said? Do you think God always talked to you alone? He also talked to us. And God came down and said, it is true I talk to you but you are not my prophet. If I have a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will show it. He died. It was after five days they saw his dead body. It could be him. God was holding the service. It could be him. So painful, but there is nothing we can do. The Lord will keep you. I said the Lord will keep you. I remember one day also we were closing service in Little Theater. And the Lord said to me, there shall be no loss. I've never had that word before. There shall be no loss of life and no loss of property. Hey, I told you people, we are coming in the evening. We had evening service. And then we sprinkle everybody, not knowing that that is when the, the, the eh? Kaya, whatever. We lost none in Likoni. All our brethren were kept by the power of God. God does not stop keeping his people. So it is when you are living in disobedience that God give up. And then people will start judging God. But he go to church. But he pay tight. Tight cannot replace the place of obedience. Well, how, much are you giving? how much are you giving to God that you let God rest? <laughs> how much are you really giving to God that you won't let God rest? I was telling somebody jokingly. I say in Kenya, we persecute the pastor. How much are you really giving to this pastor? How much? Talking about Chris. A pastor, young pastor that God bless in Nigeria. Living in a church, he was on transfer. And one man gave him a car worth 55 million. He's giving 55 million. And I say, I'm waiting for them. I've been checking the follow-up. 
to see who will criticize him. Some people have started. So it's this night I will reply them on his behalf. I want to ask them, when this young man, he was like Victor here, when we're not east, when they will send him where Boko Haram have dominated now from Maduguri to bring flyer, where were you? It is now he's blessed. You are making noise. He, gave, he got one uh, car worth 55 million. He got another Vensa. Several other gifts. You are complaining. When this man, 30 years, uh, 27 years ago, he was suffering church premises. Where were you? Your tithe does not replace the place of you. You can pay a million tithe. You won't bribe God with your tithe. Because your tithe is not for him. It's for you. Did he say I will rebuke the Vora for myself? He said bring you all the tithe that I may rebuke the Vora for your sake. Every of our act is not to make God stronger. It's to make us stronger. Come on, say I hear. Say it louder. So you have come tonight in obedience. God that call you will defend you. I don't need to shout and scream. He said he will not ask the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. So every meeting God call you to is there to defend his name by delivering to you the purpose of that meeting. I see you cover. Your office will not catch fire. Your houses will not catch fire. Whatever you are thanking God for now, they will not turn to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Are you catching what we are saying? Your coming should guarantee your rest. I've done my part. And it's after you have done the will of God. Stand. It didn't say sweat. The sweetness of God will follow you this morning. Everyone online, I prophesy over your life. The same grace that is available for preservation in this service. Come upon every one of you. You will not lose anyone. You will not be hit by the target of your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I, God, gave them up. Unto their heart loss. And they walk in their own counsel. Oh, that my people had hacking unto me. And Israel has walked in my way. What will I have done? And turn, I should soon have subdued their enemies. And turned my hand against their adversary. And you know, they say your adversary, Satan, is going through and froze. God will have turned his hand against his intention over your family, over your health, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not see evil this month. I prophesy again, evil shall be far away from you. Please obey God at all times. Stop waiting for conveniences. Some people say, no, my house is very far. If death knock on your door, you will know your, the hospital is not far. Wife, help your husband. Husband, help your wife. And you are going for Passover. Because when the evil knock, you are a, you are a proxy ta a target. You are a what? A proxy target. When Satan cannot get at a man, he gets at his interest. You see how, how, how um, uh, 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 the, the Islamic world fight America? What connection has Kenya to America? We are not the one who is fighting them. But you see, they came and hit here. Because they know we have relationship. That's how Satan fight. So carry, when you get home now, plead the blood on your wife. Stella, sit down. Let me prophesy over your head. Don't bring evil here. Praise God. Those children that are not there, open the album. That's why you have their photos. When witches get your photo and you are not born again, you are in trouble. So you have the, you have the photograph of your children. Speak into their life. Command the blessing of God to reach them. Praise God. Somebody say, how, how does it work that way? Okay, how come you pray for far distance? Picture even make it real. Mention their name in your prayer. Lord, you know, the, the people don't understand. And by now you should understand how God has kept me in this land. When they were taking the lamb, did he say take it for an individual? He said each family for one lamb. So your arrival here, you must extend it to your family. 
as I'm speaking into your life, pick the picture of your wife, the picture of your children, and speak into their life. Amen. And say, Lord, I'm, re- I'm standing on behalf of my family. He said, one lamb for a family. And if the family is small, two should join together. Jesus came and honored Passover. He didn't condemn it. But today I hear preachers say all manner of things. Just to make themselves popular. Let me show you one verse of scripture. Matthew chapter 5. And hear what Jesus says. Matthew chapter 5. I will read from verse 16. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your father. Have you seen that? Which is in heaven. So that you don't think it's your father in Kitale. Then verse 7. He said, think not that I am calm to destroy the law. Because that's what they will tell you. They say it's Old Testament. I have not come to destroy the law. I have not come to destroy what? The law. Sometimes you hear they say, tithe is, is a, it's a New Testament thing. But listen to Jesus. I was reading this passage. He said, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophet. I am not come to destroy it, but to what? To fulfill it. Let me read for you uh, from a message by uh, let me read uh, two passages for you. English uh, of King James is very hard here. He said, do not think I have come to do away which, that is amplify. Do not think I have come to do away or undo the law or the prophet. I have come not to do away with or undo, but to complete and fulfill them. Listen to this. For verily I tell, I tell you, until the sky and the earth pass away and perish, have they perished? Has the earth passed away? No. Until the sky and the earth pass away and perish. Not one smallest letter. Nor one little book. Hook. Amplify, say, identify certain Hebrew letter. Will pass from the law until all things. It is foreshadowed and accomplished. Look at verse 19. That is what blesses my soul today. Whosoever them break, not attending the, the, the Passover, you are breaking. You will none of God. He said, Whosoever whoever them break or does away with or relax one of the least important of this commandment and teaches men, so shall he what? Call, so shall be called least, that is less important in the kingdom of heaven. But he who practice them and teaches other to do so shall be like, shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever practice. Hmm? There was a mysterious cat in our, in our compound for the past three days. But I didn't know. It's a mysterious one. But I don't know why. I found him, he ran away. After I get into the house, he came back. The whole, the whole compound. And he's crying like a human being, practically. So as I was coming, me, I saw a cat. No, I have no business with a cat. I pass. And then, uh, by the, before I could remove my team, put in lift, get going up, he has reached up. So when mama had it, mama came out with the blood. We have our own weapon. Amen. We have our what? Our Amen. own weapon. And the Bible tells us, our weapon are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. They are a stronghold of life. 
Mama didn't know I was coming, but I found, as I was as I was coming out, I saw her blood. So I was laughing at her. I said, "What is it? You hear that cat?" I said, "I met him downstairs, but he was he ran away." So so I let him. I said, "But don't worry, I will go and look for him. We have our own weapon." Praise God. Somebody said, what is in a cup? Not all the time. Can't come to their house and be crying like a human being. Later, history have it that in the other house developed by the same man, there is a strange cat. So you don't know many sources of some money. Yeah. So, and I, I was talking to the cat. You can't come here because me, I rent, <laughs> I rented. <laughs> sometimes you need to declare your stand to some situation. Hey, you are not going to threaten me. Huh? The cost costless shall not come. Me, I rent. They say it's on rent. I rent the house. So, you can't come and torment me. <laughs> if you if the property has a cart element, go and look for the <laughs> now, the other houses, is a, is a, is a distance. Mighty apartment, I won't tell you the names. But the owner passed away this year. Mysteriously, he passed away. So they are also having challenges. I said, No, me, I'm here. I'm the president of this kingdom here. <laughs> Praise God. We have our weapon. There are many places you have passed sometimes, all your hair stand. There are forces. There are forces. But God has not kept us defenseless. But our problem is that we are listening to nonsense. Nonsense. Jesus said I have come to keep the law and to fulfill it. In fact, my coming is the reality of it. In fact, I think uh, First Corinthians chapter 5, where you not told that Jesus is made our Passover. So Passover is relevant to the life of a believer. Praise God. I see God's power keeping you. I see a new you emerging. Come on, let me hear your louder amen. amen. Where, you know, there are ports. There are ports. There are ports. There are, there are rituals all over the places. As you are walking, there are some things some human beings play somewhere. And you kick them. You better kick them as a son of God. There are rituals. Don't you go to junction and find demonic uh, sacrifice there sometime? Do they tell this was sacrificed to Jesus? There are other gods. There are what? Other gods. But I'm so glad. He say he has committed all judgment into the hand of the son. So let's be a proper son. By upholding the ordinances. Exodus chapter chapter 20 and verse 18. Exodus. Exodus chapter number 20. And I think verse 18. Oh, sorry, 1820. Try 1820. 1820. Don't be an empty Christian. Be a knowledgeable Christian. Jesus said, knowledge shall make you free. Praise God. Now God was speaking to Moses here. He said, and thou shalt teach them what? ordinances and the law. What are ordinances? The thing God ordained that will represent him or provoke his appearance. Oil is not God, but it's a point. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a medium. He said, and thou shalt teach them ordinances. What, are, what is ordinances? The thing God ordained. Either in the Old or in the New Testament. He said, they shall be they, they shall teach them ordinances and the law and shall show them the way wherein they must walk and the walk that they must do. They shall teach them ordinances. Let me close by saying there are many ordinances in the Bible. There are many what? Ordinances. First fruit is an ordinance. God ordained it. Offering is an ordinance. God ordained it. You shall not appear before me empty handed. The communion is an ordinance. The Passover is an ordinance. Anointing oil is an ordinance. 
they are all ordinances. For me, speaking in tongue is an ordinance. Water baptism, you are the thing God ordained. I know when you ordain something, you ordain it with integrity of your power. They are all ordinances. Feet washing is an ordinance. And please, preacher, keep quiet if you don't know it. For example, if I give my car to my daughter, Deborah, he doesn't know how to drive. Does Deborah ignorance stop to make my car a car? No. You don't know how to use it. You have only two options. You either go and learn how to use it or believe God to speak to you. Manchu is an ordinance. There are people in, my, in uh, uh, Malindi, the like of Angela. I can't remember when I went to Malindi with an anchor chief and returned with the anchor chief. That means Angela is not in the service. You will wait for it. Say, Papa, I'm looking for it. The rest of you don't call it. Does it mean you are devil? No, you don't know what it works. But that does not mean there is no power. Praise God. I said, praise God. I saw some people taking my photo, uh, my chair to snap photo. I pity them. That is the chair you should sit down and be crying. Not photo for Facebook. You should be sitting down on it and be praying. But they were taking it to take selfies. I pass them here and I look at them and say, this one. They don't know what to, they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I lie down on the altar. This altar that you people come to pose for photograph. I slept on an altar where Benihim, Duncan William, Bishop Oyedepo, the man in Yola, what is his name? Riam Bonki of blessed memory. And he's this lady that ministered before she ministered. And uh, Fred Adu, Olukotaife and Odulem Oduyemi. I sat down in the congregation and the minister will complete six days. And God said to me, Do you want anointing? I was just a businessman. I said, Lord, I want it. He said, You see where they are standing there? Go and land there for there for seven days. That's where I was sleeping for seven days. It's not like your Polish church now. That was the house of mosquitoes. So I will wear my long dasha. And put the bottom. So my then I took because mosquito doesn't know you want to receive anointing. Mm -hmm. You also want to receive his daily bread. Mm -hmm. Now we tie myself as if I'm Al Shabab. Seven good days. No place transmit power more than your knowledge. No place. Bishop Aremu, one of our great bishops in Nigeria, he's still with winners and he's doing excellently. They were barren for a long time. And Bishop Oedipo went to, the, to minister in, a, I think they were in Sokoto that time. It's a long time story. I may get it wrong because of the sake of those who are online. And uh, after Papa left their guest room, the woman went in there and rolled the Roll on. He said, this is where the man of God slept. And roll on it. I think that was how they had the first twins. Eh? Set of twins came out. Life. Bishop Oyedepo himself went somewhere to minister. I think they told him that Kenneth Copeland slept in this room. Eh? He said, who? The man that is everywhere. He slept here. He said he had a night vigil. He removed his clothes. Whatever this man carried. Now that is about 20, 25 years. That is about 30 years ago. Are you seeing the two of them today? So those of you who are snapping for they will bring the chance. Feel your spirit, man. There is something that made this man who he is. Amen. Let me say, somebody always remind me of one word. Anyone doing better than you, there is something he knows that you don't know. There is a knowledge at work in him that is not in you. You may rattle your mouth, do what? He said, who has received anything? He said, be given from above. 
there are certain things God gave him that he didn't give him. Yeah, 1994, we see very few in Winners Chapel. We had having a meeting. God, God servant said, I'm going to watch your leg, all of you. I think we're around 24 people. We, we are not up to 30. Consider senior pastor then. He said, I'm going to wash your legs. He said, Jesus said, if I wash thee not, you have no part in me. And as we line up and he was washing, at a particular point, he changed the instruction. He said, now, when you come, I give you. You wear and you sit. I came back and told you, and you sit on my chair. You know what he said? As we are wearing the clothes, he said, my sweat is in those clothes. You will not sweat about life anymore. He said, as you sit on my seat, you have rest. When you see a man of God struggling, he has nobody's man to. When you see a man of God, how will we be where we are if I just came fresh from Nigeria? It's not possible. I can tell you for free. What I have seen in this ministry is not possible if I have not received baton from someone. So do something better with my chair. Do something what? Better to my chair. Ask God to ask the grace that I have to you so that you can be better than me. Praise the Lord. That was how I sat on that chair. We never forget it's a black chair like this. And I said, God, I want ease in ministry. This man that is ever talking and I don't know when, what time he sleep, I want that grace. I remember another grace I covered. Let me see life behind every letter of the Bible I read. You approach those chairs intentionally. Amen. Somebody say, these are wrong doctrines. Speak your grammar there. You are deceiving yourself. A, a man dead, 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 dead completely was mistakenly buried in the sepulcher of a man of God and he came back to life. You know why? He doesn't hate the man of God. He doesn't have, he was dead. Many are too much alive. That's why they cannot contact anything. The man was dead. He doesn't know his history. He doesn't know how many people he has killed. You know the man of God killed many people. If I be a servant of God, let her. He does not have any history. He was dead completely. So, he was alive for miracle. But those who carry him, there might be some who have a headache. <laughs> those who cover him with the sand, they have a headache. The headache never left. He was, because they are alive. He that keep his life shall lose it. And he that lose his life shall take it again. Today's service, I've been telling mama, today's service is unique. Amen. It shall take you to another level. Amen. Whatever has been holding you down, whatever has been holding you down, the Bible says, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. In the midst of your affliction, in the midst of your predicament, remove, receive motion right now. Walk into your high places. Great door begin to open for you. Friends, I won't tell you lies from that day. From that day, when it comes to ministry, it's ease. He said his sweat is in his coat. So their coat is waiting for my feet. So as you wear it, you are a new candidate Amen. to eat sweet Amen. ministry. You are the next candidate. That was 1994. 1995, I was sent out to plant Jalingo Church. And from that year, I've always been head of mission. A living witness. I've always been a head of mission. Just by sitting on the seat of a man of God. The content of your heart towards that man is what determines what you make out of it. That's why you must keep your heart. He said, guide up your heart with all diligence for out of it at the issues of life. Every man of God have negative and positive. Hello? Even Jesus. He has what? Positive? You know how the Simon blessed him? He said, this child is for the rising and the falling. So you decide which side you want. Be it unto you according to your faith. Be it unto you according to your faith. One of the testimonies we read here last Sunday is that the person who is very sensitive in the office, that's why we just write Sister T.U. 
It's a sensitive office. They were coming out for television. And I stood in Nairobi. I said, as you are coming out, I thank God for you coming out. You know you are not paying from your salary. You are not going to pay from your normal salary. You are not going to pay from your normal business. God will open a supernatural door for you. In their office last year, they refused to pay bonus. She got to office. He said, he wrote it down in Adar. He got to office and told her colleague, I said, watch out. This my pastor, Pastor Wally, how? He said, this is your pastor Wally. He's ever saying many things. Doesn't work here. How will he influence our director? I don't need to know your director. And from nowhere, an email came. He said, this time, we will pay your bonus. And since the husband man must be what? My own arrived yesterday. It's enough to send my daughter to... Eh, you got the alert yesterday. So preach so that you can get more. It's enough to send her to school. Eh? Part of it is enough to send her to school. At least we buy her some things. Praise God. Because I've paid some. What am I trying to say? Somebody is there and say, I had it last week. In fact, he said it five times. At 5.45, he said it. At 5.45. Be it unto you according to your faith. So, the virtue you will take home from this communion and from this service will be according to how much you know God. The blood that was shed to cleanse the whole world, will that blood not set you free? I command affliction to be humiliated. Amen. Whatever is called addiction in your life, we bow to the authority of this service. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is called addiction. Character. Flaws. Lack of peace. He said when I pass through the land. I will spare my own. From today. Whatever is not of God. Operational in our life. Is bring down in the name of Jesus Christ. It has come down in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil will pass over. Amen. You will remain victorious. Amen. And what a joy this month I've been declared as a month of I am a blessing. I'm coming to teach you heavily on that. I am what? A blessing. So all you need to do, I will receive your protection. Go and do the word of God. Be a blessing to everyone you see. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I'll come and teach you. I've, I've already set my message there. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. Wherever you go, be a blessing. Stop being a liability. Stop arriving place and want them to give you all they have. You are not a liability. You are not a beggar. You are a blessed child of God. Be a blessing. Listen to me. If you are not blessed, God will never say you should be what? A blessing. Genesis chapter 1 as I close there. You are a blessing to humanity. You are a blessing to your generation. You are a blessing to your colleagues. You are a blessing to the body of Christ. You are a blessing in your place of worship. Amen. I hope you are hearing me right now. Stop looking for blessing. You know why you are looking for this? You are not, getting, you are not a blessing. I'm called, time won't permit me. That's why I stopped there. It's part of my message for today. You know why you are looking for blessing? You are not a child of God is not to look for blessing. No. You are already blessed. Amen. Somebody said, then why am I not seeing blessing? You have refused to be a blessing. You are the kickstarter. You are what? The kickstarter of other blessings. I will not, I'm tempted to tell you, but I, till I have opportunity to minister to you. You know why you are not blessed? You are being blessed. But you have not kickstarted. You have not kickstarted continuous flow of God's blessing in your life. Look at what he said, verse 27. Verse 27. Start from 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Is God a cause person? Is God poor? Who is God? God is blessed. They call him the blessed Lord. So, you are already blessed. Your problem is that you have refused to be a blessing. 
That's why you stop the program. Who is God? Let us make man in our own image. So, in the image of God, you see poverty there. So, how do you think you are poor? No, you are not poor. The problem is you have refused to continue the process. Eh? You have refused. I will come and show you. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over everything that creepeth upon the earth. The same thing God has is let you have it. Then verse 27. So God created man in his own image. So he succeeded. So whatever God is, is who you are. Is God blessed? Then tell your neighbor you are blessed. Tell him I know you won't say it very well. Because you can't see it. But I'm now telling you, if you know the image of God, then you should know your image. You are blessed. I don't need to have money in my pocket to know I'm blessed. I know who God is. The Bible says when he stretches his hand, he satisfies every soul. That's how rich he is. And you are his image. Turn your neighbor and say, be careful. Tell him, stop your pretense here. Tell him, stop your mjanja here. Stop your singiness here. What does Kiswahili call singiness? That very terrible word. Tell your neighbor, say, stop it here. Stop here. What is the image of God do you have? You say, you own heaven and earth. So how come you own nothing? How come you, you, you claim you own nothing? So God created man in his own image. So he succeeded. Tell your neighbor he succeeded. Tell you, it doesn't matter how I feel. I resemble God. I don't resemble the devil. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. In case you think it's the only image you have. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he them. So all the women who are ever waiting their husband to bring money. My hobby. Kenya are very good at that. My hobby has not dropped money. Let my hobby come. As if the hobby is more blessed than her. Is that is the way you have formed your narrative? As a man think it. Many are waiting for just one man to come and carry them like Gunea. Then they are set, they are free. That's why you are suffering in that man's house. You are not treading the ground like you are also blessed. I, I you had my teaching on, on, on women. God said they should submit, so they are not empty handed. They are not what? Tell you if the woman next to you will not see anything. <laughs> because he's just believing one man will pay my rent. You could also be the one paying the rent. To show you how much blessed, at least say that brought if brought food. It's only a brought wrong one. <laughs> Tell the woman, let's say, wake up. Shout, shout, shout on her. Tell her, wake up, wake up. from your slumber. I was waiting for one man. One, then one ugly man that has no character come. Say, I'll find the husband. He proposed. If he proposed, can't you propose? <laughs> If it doesn't look like what you want, you can tell him, excuse me, I thank God for your life, but also let me hear God. You know, you will not be able to make choice until you know you are blessed. <laughs> you will never be able to make choice until you know what? I go to a ceremony, they ask, Pastor, what will you take? I tell them, I'm taking nothing. Somewhere, I think three days ago, they say, what do we give you? Uh, juice, wine, they were mentioned. I said, I, I want nothing. Because whatever they are offering there, I can buy it. You see, when you go to a buffet where, that you can afford, you don't get overfeed. You don't have constipation. You don't have runny stomach. I told them I want nothing. After a while, they say, Pastor, we should serve you something. I said, okay, do you have water? All those juice you put, I can afford it. You will never have option as a woman. I'm adding to your note. <laughs> you will never have option. You will never find the right man until you know you are 
blessed. When you know you are blessed, then you are not afraid of future to pick what is not yours. All bones are not your bones. All ribs are not your ribs. Uh, go home. <laughs> go home and leave. Okay, close it by 17. I think it was 17. And God bless one of them. And God bless the man. He blessed them. That means the woman what? Were blessed. I think the spirit of women meeting is still coming in. Uh, and he blessed them. And God said unto one of them, unto them, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the force of the air, and over everything that creepeth upon them. May the Lord give you understanding. You are blessed. How many men know here that they are blessed? Don't look at what you don't have. How many of you know you are blessed? He created all things by the power of his word. So if God says you are blessed, it's a matter of time. Your blessing will begin to show to your world. Stop practicing poverty. You walk on the road like a poor. Why? You talk like a poor. How are you? Talk loud. Let your voice be heard. As we partake of this communion, there is an awakening of the giant that is on our inside. The blessing of God upon your life is here by trigger by this communion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up on your feet and thank God for blessing you. And thank God for blessing you. If you look at the word bless, it's not a future tense, it's a past tense. And God bless them. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Declare it against that situation. That whispering of the devil. Declare what God says about you. I am blessed. 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 I don't care my situation. I don't care the predicament around me. I choose to be whom God say I am. I am a blessed personality. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Online declare. You are blessed. You are blessed. Not that you will be blessed. You were blessed. You are a seed of Abraham. You were blessed. It doesn't matter how bad the situation is. God has not reversed his work concerning you. I am blessed. Not that I will be blessed. I am blessed. Father Lord, thank you tonight. We break our fast with this lost table. So activate the provision of God upon our life. We are a blessed daughters and sons of God. No matter the inflation, nothing can reverse what God said. He said, my word shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish the purpose for which I send it. He sent his word and the word healed them. You are healed from every traces of poverty. You are healed from every everything that suggests you are a cost person. You are blessed and your blessing shall appear to all. He took the blood and said, this is my drink that was shed for you. As you partake of this communion, something is fired up in your system. Something begin to repel every life of poverty. Something begin to speak favor for you. Favor is God's currency for a blessing. Receive it in the name of Jesus. He took the flesh and said well, his body was broken for us. By this communion tonight, your eyes of understanding is enlightened. In Jesus' precious name. The table is hereby set and blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name. Take your seat as the steward go ahead. There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. There is power in the blood, the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood, power in the blood, power in the blood. He said, There is power in the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Oh, there is blessing in. Lord, blessing. blessing in the blood. We 
said there is blessing in Lord whatever you receive for us we activate it by tonight communion you receive power for us healing in the blood he said there is healing in the blood the blood of Jesus he said there is favor in the blood yes Lord favor in the blood he said there is favor in Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We want to glorify you. Thank you for granting us the opportunity to partake of your table. Thank you for your word that has come to us. Thank you for tabernacle of your secret over our life. Job said, I walk under his tabernacle. His tabernacle has become our dwelling, even the tabernacle of almighty protection. No evil shall come on us. In our dream, in our consciousness, in our sleep, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's worship the Lord with our substance. Until you are intentional in your giving, your prosperity is not in view. Until you are intentional in your giving. When you are intentional, you will give according to the law. When you are intentional, you fulfill all the requirements of God. You will give cheerfully. You will give as the Lord has blessed you. You will give willingly until we are intentional in our giving. Our divine prosperity is not in view. Praise God. I said praise God. Tonight, I want you to package your offering with that short exaltation. Those who claim that they don't have, God never have anything for them. Those who keep on giving what they like, they never get anything special from God. Those who give grudgingly, they never 
get anything from God. He loves a cheerful giver. Those who give beyond, below their standard, he never have respect for the offering. We saw it in Cain and Abel. Don't have the action. Have an action that is intentional. Cain, have action, but it was not intentional. As you cast your offering online, actual, I pronounce God's blessing over those offerings. I decree the seed in your hand. Open great door for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, receive their offering. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom. And in return, bless them. In Jesus' precious name. Cast your offering as you listen to the following announcement. Join us tomorrow morning in our Voice of Restoration online morning glory service via church, Facebook, Breakthrough page. A Breakthrough Chapel International time is 5.45. Monthly church worker meeting we hold I uh, will not hold this Saturday. This monthly workers meeting will not hold this Saturday. Join us on Sat on Sunday in our two power as in our one power pack services. Maybe we'll soon return to two. Amen. So I know you won't say amen, but you better say louder, amen. God will grant in your effort in soul winning, and we have more than enough. And in the course of observing the COVID rule, we go back to two services. All our services are to empower you to your crowning restoration, endeavor to attend all. And do not forget to share your testimony on, of the great act of God on this mountain. Invite all your hearers to all our services. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. If you are not winning soul, one man said, your soul is dying. Say, so don't be deceived. If your soul is not multipliable, he says that that soul is getting weakened day by day. So I encourage you over the weekend, from now, develop the habit of soul winning. Tell your neighbor if you are not winning soul. Madam, brother, your soul is dying. Say it one more time. Because anything living, give birth. Anything living does what? Give birth. If you are so, if you are not winning soul, my friend, it's a matter of time. That soul will die. Just like a woman who doesn't have a child. When he died, what happened? His memory is erased. Your memory in the kingdom will not be erased. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep on winning so. Keep on inviting people. Keep on telling them about the love of God. And keep on being a blessing. Let's rise up on our feet and share the goodness. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm tired of seeing you coming alone to church. I want to see your spiritual son and your spiritual daughter. I've had your testimony of major breakthrough in business. I want to see your sons and daughter. You are a living soul. Reproduce after your kind. Good news as you go home. You are not clapping, so the family of brother Eugene Otuma of Decoration Team and his wife, sister Kristen Akin of BCI Symphony has been blessed with a bouncing baby boy. The covenant naming ceremony we hold on Wednesday at their resident in uh, Mwandoni. All right, find out you have their phone in case I call it wrongly. Praise God. God is a faithful God. I remember laying hand on her there. I said, now it's time. <laughs> it's off of the offload because the baby now is carrying you. Time has come. And we thank God she delivers successfully. We are waiting for 
for who now? Uh, the child. We are waiting for them so that they can sing better for us. Amen. Because when they are singing, they have to hold somewhere with style. Praise God. Make sure you call them and wish them well. They have served you faithfully. Show up for them. God bless you. The Lord God is our son and our shield. He will give us grace and glory. No good thing will live we hope from us as we walk uprightly. We are restored to power, to dominion, to honor, and to dignity. It is our year of crowning restoration. I am pursuing the troop. I have overtaken them already. Without failing, I'm recovering all. Amen. God bless you. See you and see you on top.